Ay, panalipio, malipio, sa Panalipio, malipio, sa Panalipio, malipio, sa Panalipio, malipio, sa Ay, panalipio, malipio, sa Panalipio, malipio, sa Señor K, por al por Dios, mi K I have to do some driving today, so hopefully Guillermo has put some grease away from me for uh, my truck. vegetable oil tank as opposed to diesel fuel only and we have a device here that helps heating the grease throughout it's called hot fox what it does is it uses the engine coolant to actually heat up the grease and make it loose up and also those hoses are connected with the uh, engine coolant and allows the grease to go inside of a hot water hose um, so it's, it's less viscose than that these two hoses actually operate the, uh, the filtration system so once it goes from the tank, it goes inside of uh, the motor side. I'll show you. The heated oil pumps through the back of the, the truck from the motor, it comes into a heated filter. From the heated filter, it goes through a pump to a block heater. The block heater um, actually makes that grease be really, really hot. And then there's a solenoid that cuts actually the diesel and grease. So once the oil is really hot, 150 degrees, you make a switch, there's diesel coming in here, and this, this is grease coming in here, vegetable oil. Waiting for the car to heat up a little bit, usually it takes about 8 to 10 minutes, depending on the weather. We start the motor with diesel, and then we wait until the temperature of the motor goes to 145, 150, and the computer automatically will know that it's hot enough, and it will switch to 100% veggie oil. <laughs> Right now we're running on 100% used, recycled or filtered cooking oil from her kitchen fryer and from her neighbor's restaurant fryer. Now we're going back to the restaurant with some haddock and some cod. <laughs> 